So what is up guys and in today's video I'll show you how you can qualify for the bridge airdrop and recently after wormhole snapshot a lot of people looking in some other opportunities what other interoperability protocols we can use so one of these top ones right now is the bridge so let me show you step by step guide how you can be eligible and if you look at the crunchbase website you will see that they have a decent funding of 5.5 million dollars so now what they allow us to do is to essentially bridge your assets from one network to another one whether you want to do it from solana to optimism or from optimism to add other ones like for example ethereum arbitrum polygon so we can pretty much transfer any assets that you want and personally i think if you're going to manage to bridge to as many different networks as possible this could act as the multiplier when you're going to get your token allocation also you can play around with the tokens that you're sending so in solana for example you can send solana but you can also send usdc jupiter and a bunch of different tokens and i definitely recommend you guys to send and use the optimism route because they have a small fee rebate that you can use so it's currently recommended to use the optimism so you can do solana to optimism then you can do optimism to arbitrum let's say so i would definitely hit a bunch of different networks so let's bridge it now from solana to optimism so first of course you need to connect your wallet your metamask and on the other side you will need to connect your phantom wallet and in here on the bottom you'll need to provide the recipient optimism address which is your metamask address so once you get it done you want to click on create trade and now you're going to get a pop-up so you need to confirm the transaction now if you go to your metamask you'll see that we have hundred dollars in optimism so you can see how fast it was and how efficient so in case you don't want to go to any exchanges you don't want to use any other like layer zero bridges this one is really fast and it took me less than 30 seconds which is really time efficient so now once we have our funds on optimism we can bridge it to let's say linea because we are farming linea uh, for the potential airdrop so why not bridging to linea and then from linea to add a network so let's do it 0.025 let's say so once you get it done you're gonna click on create trade again and now if you switch to linea you can see that we bridge some funds over it's really fast and really cost effective so you can do a lot of volume if you want to bridge it and the fees are also really low so it's really simple on the top of that they have the point system and so the points are coming soon so we don't know exactly how much points we're earning but i think when the points will be revealed is going to be really crowded and a lot of people are going to start farming it so if you're farming now i think you are well above the curve less people watching it now not a lot of people pay attention to it especially when wormhole it will drop more people will start finding these other interoperability protocols to basically farm and get some airdrops so in meanwhile we can bridge it from linea to let's say arbitrum so we can do 0.025 and bridge over and every single time you're going to be paying a small fee but we are looking to multiply that when we're going to get the airdrop so when we're going to get for example 10x from that or even 50x from that so this airdrop is basically a free airdrop where you don't pay much for it and let's say you're going to spend on that only 15 minutes a week so you can do let's say five transactions one week you can repeat that bi-weekly or monthly if you want or if you want even further you can do it every single week so the more volume you will do the more chains you're going to hit the more transactions you will also make that's beneficial for your airdrop so that's all of the criteria that will matter when you're going to get your final token allocation so next we're going to do another trade from arbitrum to polygon to hit another chain and to do that you'll need to uh, set up the fee so sometimes if you have not enough in your wallet it will ask you to basically use the maximum what you can use at this moment so in this case we're going to be sending almost 70 dollars so we're going to be paying 60 cents for this transaction now if you switch to matic you will see that we have already our funds in this account and if you guys want to use this i'm going to drop the link down below so just remember about the activity about the chains and the volume and if you guys found this video useful you can let me know in a comment down below hit the thumbs up Follow me on Twitter because this will update you with some airdrops and also original stuff. And don't forget to follow my group on Twitter.